we annoy him probably almost daily to come and fix stuff. Mm-hmm. Every every day. If he had have installed it probably in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the people I think it's the people looking after it, mate. But uh, it's gonna check the filters. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to A Beer with the Brewer, the last one of 2020, running into Christmas and also New Year's. So last week, we said that we did have a third birthday beer that Maddie brewed for us, and we are road testing it today. And it is a quintessential for everyone's freezer, which is a frosty fruit sour. Everyone knows what a frosty fruit is, and this bangs it straight down the line. So... Matty, give us a little bit of a descriptor on this bad boy. Thank you, Flex. Certainly a much uh, briefer and straight to the point introduction than last week. <laughs> Obviously, 2020 is... Uh, I'm done for 2020. 2020 is... Uh, <laughs> Drawing to a close very quickly. We're all pretty happy to get out of it. Yes. Yeah, so um, for the record, please don't put this beer in your freezer. No one puts beer in the freezer. Well, some do, but don't forget about it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, straight to the beer, skipping through all the niceties that we normally talk about. It is good to see you again. Thank you. Always you... a pleasure. I love your shirt today. Thank you. Um, very, very floral. Sort of, uh, floral, Christmassy, mm. Queenslandy. 100% Australia. Australia. Yeah. Beautiful. Australia. Made in China. Quality <laughs> bit of a shout out to our netherworld as well you got a little wristband yes, on there we, we uh, popped we over there popped for, there for some christmas lunch a couple of uh, beers and uh, catch up with everyone so thanks before uh, we get and too excited the about the beer we better introduce our latest guest on the show mikey his first time on the show i believe or pod- maybe he's been on the podcast maybe no 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 michael brown mikey, mikey b brown, mikey b, mikey b. Brown. anyone that knows or hangs around rebel wheel know him or i've had a beer with him at some point hopefully not too late at night but absolutely good to have you here mate. <laughs> they've been asking me for months and uh We've asked i'm finally, I'm finally here finally finally, us with finally here to pick up the ratings finally a little and uh, his schedule <laughs> so we will after we've tasted the beer we'll have a little talk about what mickey b has done for revel going into our now fourth year as mm-hmm. revel 100 moving forward so all right, the frosty fruit sour. So I guess an absolute delight. The last little Cheers while I've released two or three sours: the mm-hmm. mango, Ooh. fruit loop goso, which we spoke about last weekend, mm-hmm. and this one was uh, to celebrate the third birthday, obviously, as we've discussed. So another blend of ice. This one a little bit stronger than the normal three and a half percent, as we make. Yeah, four point five. This one's a Christmas day beer, so four point five percent. Still perfect drinking perfect in the uh, summer, but just a little bit summer weather and in the pools. More on it. Mm-hmm. Um, so a normal sour base, then um, passion fruit, pineapple, and orange Ooh. loaded into the beer. So delicious. Growing up as a kid, a frosty fruit icy pole on a hot day was always one of my favourites. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So something I really wanted to yeah. recreate in a beer. Mm-hmm. Um, and hopefully we'll have nailed it. I'm not sure. I haven't had any other feedback from ourselves revelling in our own glory. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hopefully the pond is out there. Mate, and absolutely. I think, uh, I think you've nailed it, mate. <laughs> so I didn't get a chance to try it on the weekend. This beer will be now hitting the shelves over the Christmas period. Yep. We canned a fair bit of it, so it should be hitting all the... Uh, regular sort of bottle shops mm-hmm. um, and of course on tap at all these sort of local craft beer venues yep. but yeah this is probably i guess it for 2020 in terms of production the year everything that's gone on this year mm-hmm. it's been a, a crazy year a busy year um yeah <laughs> who knows what's gonna happen in 2021 2021 but yeah sh- Wow, what a year, really. What a year. And okay. what a cracking beer to finish off. It's very nostalgic uh, Australian summer frosty fruits, the old uh, quintessential kind of uh, flavours of summer as well, passion fruit, pineapple, and I think you've captured that in uh, in this beer as well. It's very, very prominent, super drinkable, nice, uh, nice bit of sourness to it, but again, really nice clean finish to that. Perfect for the summer day. Knock a couple of those back with a pavlova or something like that. 
perfect. Well, let's absolute perfect. Something you want to drink on Christmas Day. I think oh last yeah. Last year we released the Pavlova sour. We certainly did for Christmas Day, and again this one was timed, not only for a birthday but for the Christmas period. Where you something nice and refreshing around the barbie by the pool. Cleanse the palate mm. in between the old uh, the the red wine, the white wine, the punch. Yeah, the paths, everything, everything that's going on. The indulgence of Christmas. Mm. Yes, absolutely. So, I guess moving away from the beer, we'll um, have a chat to our special guest today. Mikey. Mickey B. Mickey B. So, last week... The we legend. S- the legend himself. Last week, we spoke a little bit about um, being Rebel's third birthday and how happy we are to be here. Mm-hmm. And I guess we wouldn't be here today without, without Mickey B. It's done a lot around the place. Um, sitting here now at Belimba, the the OG mm-hmm. Rebel 1.0. Yep. Um, Mick done a lot of the work installing the brewery, a lot of the plumbing work. Um, the glycol, pretty much everything that we needed. We annoy him probably almost daily to come and fix stuff. Mm-hmm. Every every day. If he had have installed it, probably in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the people. I think it's the people looking after it, mate. That, uh, but it's going to check the filters, mate. <laughs> um, so I guess, Mick, firstly, welcome to the show. Thanks, mate. Thanks, boys. Um, Thanks for having me. What's it been like to be a part of Revel since uh, day zero? Uh, unreal. The liver has taken a bit of a thrashing in the last three years. Course, yeah. <laughs> but now it's great. Great team of people. Um, Maddie's pushing out some unbelievable beers. And uh, it's just great to be a part of the, the family, I guess. Mm. Mm. We mate, we wouldn't be here without you. So it's. Uh, oh, I think everyone has a, just, everyone has a, a rock. Everyone has a key role in the business, and um, yeah. So I guess um, together. moving from what we have here, which is I guess our startup brewery where we mm-hmm. everything sort of happened originally, moving into our new site, which is a fair bit bigger, a lot bigger scope. Yep. Um, for you, I guess building this very compared to the new one, how does that sort of. Uh, how well, do you take uh, that on, we I sort guess. of. So I came in last minute on the build of uh, the first brewery, so we sort of ran on the fly. Not much of a plan. Sounds <laughs> as quite to, familiar. Yeah, <laughs> as to install, connect A uh, to connect B. I had no idea about cooling systems, heating systems, all the rest of it. Uh, so we did well to get this first place built in five weeks, five, so six, six weeks, seven, seven, eight weeks. Yeah. It, was. it was very quick build time. Yeah. Um, Maddie was brewing. You had first tank brewed whilst we were still a construction yeah, site. Yeah, brewing in here whilst it was con- construction site. Which was mm-hmm. building Which still going around. Great when the beer was ready because we uh, <coughs> we didn't have to walk far for a refreshing tradey summer ale. Absolutely. Um, but no, second build was a lot more uh, planned. Um, uh, I, I guess we all sort of knew what we were in for. To a degree. Well, you didn't. <laughs> you, had, <laughs> you had extra steam. You had extra well, yeah, yeah, we had a lot of extra stuff, but... stuff going on, but we, we pulled it together quite well with with limited stress mm. compared to the original build. So, um, nah, big change, big change. We've come a long way in three years, and uh, the third brewery will definitely be easier again. Oh yeah, I if, think the if, third brewery if we're lucky enough to. <laughs> To get got, that far in mate, the industry? But I've got no hair, more hair to lose. Yeah, Flex, is, Flex <laughs> when I met Flex, he had hair, believe it or not, down to his, down to his past his shoulders. And uh, now he's, uh, we've stripped him dry. No, that's it. You blow it off in the, in the light breeze, I hear. Now it's just all over his shoulders. Every now that's and again, he gets a little stamp on the head just so he knows what that is. Oh, yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> Bit of fun one day <laughs> on the canning line. <laughs> But yeah, uh, certainly yeah, so. the scope of what we've done has um, grown massively in the space of three years. Yeah. To be putting in, I guess, our little 15 head fermenters, which we can see from here. Mm. The new ones, I think, are five or six times bigger. Yeah. So I guess what you do is almost the same. It's just everything is a little bit bigger. Just a bit larger. Exactly. It takes larger, a little longer. Do the and... same thing. Yeah. To, to sort of help us grow into it next year and the future. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah, Mickey B, big part of uh, what Revel has done, big supporter of the brand, of course. Exactly, he uh, facilitates the mechanics of the the installation of the breweries as mm. such. So without without Mickey B, we wouldn't have glycol gas or anything like that. So very integral part 
and very pleased to uh, to have him as part of the team. Oh, thanks, Gorsh. He's, he's an okay bloke at times. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> some, some, some would say he's a facilitator. This <laughs> is definitely a bonus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes Matty leads me astray. That's what he's trying to say. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, guys, I reckon that's not your wrap from us for 2020. 100% 2020. It's been, uh, it's been, been a great year, year, difficult year for but everyone. It has been difficult, but at the same time, it's been awesome. They've done some pretty cool stuff on the, well, in the face of what's happened adversity. in the world. Mm -hmm. Face of adversity and um, onwards and upwards for 2021. 2021, and 100%. Yeah, and we can't wait to see what happens next year. Bigger Definitely. and better. You got, so, any, got any news on the first beers coming out next year, mate? Or? Oh, I just need a break, mate. To be honest. <laughs> oh. Well, you've had about four of them this year. Yeah. So. <laughs> where, where are you off to next always, year, mate? Yeah. Yeah, well, well, always, always on holidays, I suppose. Yeah. Always on holidays. It's like a salesman. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Three so. hours a day. <clears throat> anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. Cheers. Wishing everyone Cheers. a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry and, uh, year. Happy New Year. Happy Cheers, New boys. To drink some frosty fruit sour. Over the Christmas break. Absolute crackery. Get amongst it. Get amongst it. Get into your local and get some. Cheers. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Cheers.